Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a really exciting video. It's a little bit unusual um, and it's a homecoming story, I guess is what I would call it. Um, I get questions pretty frequently on my channel. If you've been following me for the last five years or however long I've been doing this, um, what has happened to all my Dooney and Burke bags? I really started out collecting Dooney and Burke. That's how I got into handbags and I got into leather care and um, looking at handbags as investments. Um, at the time I was also flipping handbags. So I was buying ones that were damaged or dirty and then cleaning them up and selling them for a profit. And um, my response it, to people who asked me like, what happened to Dooney and Burke is, I still love Judy and Burke. I think that they're a great um, leather maker. I think they make some of the best leather out there, especially their Florentine leather. It's just unmatched by any other brand that I have here on the shelves behind me or that I have experienced in the last five years that I've been doing this. And recently something came up for sale and I just had to grab it. And it is a Dooney and Burke bag. It's probably the first Dooney and Burke bag that I have purchased in the last three years. Um, and I want to share it with you guys because there's a great story behind it. And some of you who have been watching my channel for the last five years are going to be super excited to see this. So without further ado, let me show you what I picked up from somebody in one of my Dooney collector groups that yes, I am still in and I still try to follow all the cool stuff that's happening with them. And it is a Dooney and Burke mini natural Florentine satchel. And some of you may recognize it because it is my mini natural Florentine satchel that I sold three years ago on eBay. Yes. Are you ready for the craziest story ever? You guys have, if you've been watching my channel from back in my Dooney days, I loved this bag. It was my first Dooney satchel I ever bought. It was probably my second Dooney bag ever that I ever bought. And I just absolutely fell in love with it in on Poshmark and I had to have it. And I owned it for about three years. And the patina on this bag has just it's just amazing to watch this leather age like it has and change and get softer and more shiny and darker and more rich over time. And I remember I talked about it on my channel about how the how wonderful the patina became came because I lent it to my mother and she had it up in her closet for a while and it was just getting exposed to air and getting even more and more yummy. So I'm going to put um, any videos I can find that are that I did about this bag back in the day in the description box below. But I think it was around 2018 I decided to sell it because I just wasn't using it. I was starting to get into a lot of other handbag brands and um, I was just kind of losing my interest with Duty, Dooney even though I still appreciated them as a great leather maker. So I sold it on eBay and I didn't think much about it. And every once in a while, people have asked me if I regret selling this bag just because it had a lot of sentimental value and because it was so beautiful. Um, and I honestly have said, yeah, kind of, but that's okay. I mean, they come and they go and I have a lot of other things here. Obviously I don't need it in my life. And then the other day I was on Facebook and this wonderful woman named Rita was selling this bag. And I looked, I did a triple take at the pictures and I was like, there's no way there's no way it's my bag, but it looks like my bag. It's probably just a similar aged natural mini Florentine satchel. So I contacted her. She knew me and she knew my channel. She went back through her correspondence from where she bought it. And we were able to connect the dots that this was literally my bag that I sold three years ago on eBay and that she purchased from the person who bought it off me on eBay and that they had known me from YouTube and they sent her my video of this bag when she bought it from them. So it's just a crazy story. And it, even if I didn't believe all that evidence, as soon as it showed up and I opened the box and I smelled the smell, it came rushing back to me. This bag has a very, very strong odor to it. 
I love it. It smells so strongly of leather, but it's so unique. None of my other handbags that I've ever owned have this smell. So as soon as I opened it and I smelled it, I was like, that's my bag. I knew it right away. So I just want to show you this lovely bag that I have back in my collection. It doesn't look like it's aged a day in the last three years. It looks exactly the same as when I sold it. The two people that have owned it in that time have taken wonderful care of it. And um, Rita sent me this beautiful thank you note. Um, and it was just really sweet. Um, she just wrote like, like what a cool journey this was to go through this experience and sell the bag back to me. And it's having this homecoming. Um, and she also sent the strap, oops, excuse me. She also sent the strap with it, which is amazing. When I sold it, the strap was not working properly and it looks like somebody has taken the time to get it fixed, which is awesome. She also sent me this cute charm that looks like it was made for this bag. It looks so good on it. I want to show you guys what it looks on it, what it looks like on it. It's a little leather flower. You can see there, it just attaches to the strap with the snap, but it literally looks like this bag should have never been without it. Oh, there we go. Look how cute that is. It just adds a little something without being like super in your face still goes with like this natural color scheme. It's so cute. I just, thank you so much, Rita. I hope you're watching. I mean, this was a really cool experience to go through to get my bag back. And in celebration of this bag returning to my life, I pulled out my other two Dooney bags, my, my other two Dooney satchels that I have left. And that is my small aqua satchel. Another one of my all-time favorites, aqua is like my one of my favorite Florentine colors and it's so rare to find. So this is my small aqua and I also pulled out my favorite favorite of all time, my mini Kelly Green. Oh, I just absolutely love this little Kelly Green bag. It has been on many journeys with me and honestly it's the most durable Florentine color that I've ever owned. It just doesn't show anywhere. It's amazing. Anyways, she's back. I'm super happy about it. I know I might look a little bit psychotic that I sold this bag three, back, three years ago and I bought it back, but honestly, sometimes you just have to follow your heart. And I felt kind of bad about selling this. I did it at the time because I was trying to be practical. Um, but honestly, who cares? I mean, if anything I've learned <laughs> during these crazy pandemic coronavirus times is you got to follow your heart sometimes and not always make logical and rational, rational decisions because life's short. So buy the bag. That's what I got to say about it. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you do. I want to see all of my original Dooney people down below giving me mad props for getting this bag back because I know you all are going to be so excited about it. And as always, if you have not subscribed, I hope that you will. I talk about all different handbag brands on this channel. I just have an appreciation for anything that looks pretty and is good quality leather mostly. And I just, I just love pretty things. I don't know what to tell you. So if you like that stuff, I hope you'll join me here on my channel for my future videos. And I'll see you guys on my next one.